Julian and I have since taken that video down and I've seen a lot of people I did write a response on Twitter as to why I was taking it down and there's still a lot of people that are like very confused as to what happened and um, I like, first of all I didn't sleep Wednesday through Thursday because this was like it was completely just like destroying I was like sobbing all day on Thursday I fell asleep last night at like 8 p.m. or something and, and just woke up so um, I'm laying in bed this morning and I'm just like how can I make this a teachable moment a fixable moment where I can show people my mistakes so that people don't do it again instead of just taking it down like I'd like to at least be like making this into something where people can have a better idea of, of what to do in the future and what not to do in the future because I made a mistake and it was my fault and I feel terrible for it and I know a lot of you at least that saw the video when it was up and even now are like this is ridiculous and I totally understand that attitude but to me it's not ridiculous and to I'm sure a lot of people that have fish as pets don't see it as ridiculous so um, I guess I just want to like say a, a couple things about it I think maybe at the end of this I am gonna include the video so you can see what I did and uh, hopefully that will be enough reason for someone to not make that mistake again instead of it just not being on the internet like I'd like to have it be something where you can at least learn what not to do and you know why I made a mistake and you know why other people make mistakes too some of the criticism that I had received after I got my hamster ad was that I was you know getting a pet like on an impulse on a whim and didn't know enough about them to take care of them and all that was sort of valid except for the fact that like when I'm getting a new pet they're like my family member so maybe I don't have all of the most perfect information up front before I get them but I am fully ready and willing and responsible enough to know that I'm I'm going to do anything that I can while they're with me they you know everything that they do in their life is as a result of my effort and I'm going to take care of them to the best of my ability I'm not a person that's gonna go get a pet and then decide like oh you know I really don't want this and then you know get rid of them or give them away and like although the videos do seem very spontaneous of me going and getting a, a hamster for example um, I promise you that my level of responsibility is completely there my heart is completely there and as you saw with ad although I didn't make like a longer follow-up video with ad you saw like through Julian's vlogs and my snapchat and in the future with ad like I will do anything to make sure that you are a happy hamster and I'm sorry that I, I went to Petco or PetSmart or wherever I went and you know got what was available there to me and that wasn't what was the best for him because Ed deserves the best he's my son you know so with the fish from learning from that experience if I'm gonna get a fish I'm going to go to the most you know wonderful fish place I'm gonna get some really good advice I'm gonna get someone that's gonna tell me everything that I need to know and you know really set this up right and make sure that that these fish are like king fish you know I want them to have a great life and a great time while they're in my house it's a small locally privately owned aquarium specific store and they have glowing online reviews uh, about a knowledgeable staff about people that know what they're talking about and I had read a couple of those reviews that were like you know I was a beginner and I went in here and they really helped me so I thought that I was doing these fish a service by getting them from someone that actually cared about where they were gonna go and like yes all of this again is my fault because it's my job to be informed about the fish and where they should live and how they should live not the person selling them to me and I should have done a better job off the bat by just maybe going in there with an idea of what a, what a good first fish first fish for me to have was and you know just educating myself in that level but I didn't I went in there and I was hoping that someone could educate me a complete beginner on fish sort of I mean as an adult a complete beginner 
and uh, you know help me pick out something that was gonna be good for me and my experience with fish in the past has been you know I come from a time in the United States where it wasn't uncommon to win a goldfish at a carnival <laughs> you know and I think that's part of the whole where oh they're just fish comes from because you know you could win a fish and then we'd go home and put them in a bowl and they might die so people are like oh it's just a fish we'll you know have a little fishy funeral for them but that's not the case obviously they're living beings they deserve to have a nice environment just like anybody else and I had had some successful fish when I was a little older I had goldfish and uh, you know I was like I think I understand what it takes to have a fish and you know even if it's far more intensive than that I'm willing to do that because I'm an adult now and I'd like to have some fish I think it'd be great um, so it wasn't my lack of wanting to have them or wanting to take care of them it was my lack of information going in so that I could preemptively make sure that they had a good place to live oh, for fuck's sake sorry that camera just died so anyways I went into a uh, a nice specialty fish store and I was hoping they could set me up a, a fish appropriate for my skill level and a tank appropriate for my skill level. And I was really counting on that person to help me, their expertise, uh, because, you know, it's not like I had never been exposed to any fish things in the world. I had in the past as a younger person and I had as an adult sort of a little bit, you know, like I know that I don't want a saltwater fish or a shark or something that needs a hundred gallon tank. You know, I would like something small and, you know, that I can take care of without being a fish expert. And that if I would like to continue to move into that hobby that I can grow and learn and, you know, expand my knowledge like that. So I was really counting on uh, this person to recommend something to me rather than me going in there with a certain set of ideas about you know what I thought was good for me as a beginner. So as you'll see in the video, uh, it shows us going in there, and the guy had said to I don't I don't want to disclose the place. I mean maybe in the future I will if people are curious, but they did really have really nice reviews, and I'm not trying to blow up their spot really. Like I'm not trying to say you know these people did this to me, uh, you know fuck them. Like I don't I don't really know. Some people might have a really great experience with them. Maybe they are really great. I don't know, but this was my experience and I'm not trying to like drag them personally. Um, but I went in and he told me to pick a tank size first and then we'll work that way in order to pick a fish that's appropriate for that and appropriate for my skill level because I was like, you know, I don't, I don't know anything and you know, I'm new to having a fish and I need something for like a beginner. <laughs> And, uh, you know, he explained to me the larger the tank, uh, the easier it is to clean and that, you know, we should get the largest tank that we can feasibly get and, uh, you know, work that way. So you'll see in the videos that he recommended a circular tank to me. Uh, although it looks kind of small in the video, it is eight gallons. You know, it's not super tiny. And a lot of people were saying to me, you know, the general rule is like one gallon uh, per fish basically or one to two depending on what the fish are and the the fish that he told me to get were well, he gave me a bunch of options the ones that we decided were Petra barbs or barbs so basically they'll grow to like two or three inches maybe and uh, so yeah they might eventually grow out of that but you know he didn't explain that to me but in theory yes that was enough space for them just based on that but I have since learned when I posted this video because it's a really cool tank. There's, you know, LED lights and like bubbles and stuff. It's rad. But the, the, so those circular tanks are illegal in some countries because it's seen as cruel. So they basically just like swim around. They think there's predators there. It distorts their vision. Like it's not good for them. And obviously I would have never bought a circular tank if I had known that. But you know, again, this is my fault for going in there and not knowing that. And it also is kind of discouraging to me that we in America would even sell that as an option if it's not good for a fish. 
and uh, you know I got a lot of comments from people being like I have a bio orb it's really great like this is ridiculous like don't worry about it but like if there's any question like how hard is it to get a rectangle tank not hard for me <laughs> you know what I mean like who cares and also again the the bubble the center filtration there I did he did get me to get a, a heater in there a thermometer so that the temperature was correct and all of that but someone had told me in the comments of my video that the center bubble column it sort of ends like right here and that there was a power outage one time and he had a beta fish in there the same size as mine which is in the comments I read probably appropriate for maybe one beta fish maybe and uh the power went out and his beta fish swam like into there and like basically killed itself. So I live in Southern California. You guys have seen when we have like blackouts and stuff. It's like it happens too often for me to not consider that as something to be really worried about. I don't want my fish to kill themselves. So like, fuck no, I'd rather have something from the top where they can't just swim in there. Like, fuck, man. Like, come on, dude. Fucking help me out here. I don't want my fish to die. We picked that tank because he had suggested to get the biggest size tank that we could. But I was like, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna get a, a 50 gallon tank. Like, you know, I'd like something that could fit on a, a tabletop and have, you know, maybe, I was thinking going in there, I was like, get one fish and like have it be his thing, you know? I, I don't know, like you tell me, I, I need some help. And uh, so we picked that tank and there was no like, you know, you should get a rectangular tank or, you know, there was no discussion. It was like, these are probably good. It's like a whole setup for like beginners, you know? They got everything you need in there. Just get this guy. And then, uh, all right, over here we got some some barbs, some, you know, he threw out tetras, or tetras are different fish, and, you know, all these other, he, like, walked us down an aisle, is like, here's all the freshwater fish, and, uh, you know, these are some good ones that you can start off with. And I'm like, okay. And um, then I was like, I don't know what to put in here. Like, is there gravel? He's like, it comes with gravel. And then he pointed me to like the bio orb. He was like, these are probably the nicest, you know, decorations you should put in there. And so he sold us on like a, a actual box full of all that stuff that you saw. I was like, okay, cool. And he explained to me sort of the cycle, you know, that we should wait as, as long as we can to introduce them into the water. Whereas now I realize that this needed to be done like a month ahead of time because the the fish need if you guys want to do research if you ever would like a fish uh, you know check out taylor nicole dean who's been a, a blessing to me in the aftermath of this i it's really invaluable to have her opinion and thoughts it's like the mistake i made when i was younger when you would win a goldfish at a fair and you're like dad help me set it up and you know you put him in a nice bowl and he dies <laughs> like you can't just put a fish into some water even with conditioner even with the biological whatever because they they need it to be the ph balance the ammonia the nitrates and all this stuff it needs to be right for them to live in and you know he did sort of make it sound to me that by adding these things to the water and letting it settle for a while and uh adding their water in that it was going to be okay for them and it's not it's not okay <laughs> I'm upset that I trusted someone else's expertise. It seems silly to go into a place where you're like, I believe that you're trying to help me and like Wikipedia everything that he's saying to me on my own and be like, actually, get fucked. <laughs> but basically, the, the little barbs that he then recommended to go into that tank you know, they're like, they're school fish. They like to be in a school. They like to be with their friends. And they need like a, a nice long, like at least 30 gallon tank to swim back and forth and like have a good time with their buddies. And had I known that, I would have never put them into a circular tank alone. Basically, after I uploaded the video to where a lot of people, you know, this is their experience as well, is you go into a place you have some knowledge, not really obviously the best knowledge or enough knowledge, but you do have some knowledge or experience. And you know, you take someone else's word in good faith and you come home and you do the best that you can and you obviously want your fish to have a wonderful environment. You want to see your fish being like, 
this is fucking great. I'm having a great time. Nobody wants to see their fish be like, wow, this sucks. I hate my life. I posted the video and I started getting feedback, obviously, of like, first, first and foremost, no circle tank. Don't do that. And I'm like, fuck, okay. That's something I can fix. I can fix it. I can get them a bigger tank. No problem. Second, like those plastic plants in there, like th that's not good for them. Like they need natural plants, obviously, like their natural environment. Okay, fuck. All right, let me fix that. I can do that. I can work on that. Um, the filter, obviously, the person telling me the power going out and them going in there. Fuck. Okay, let's get rid of this tank. And then people, you know, telling me, he shouldn't have sold you those barbs, you know? They they need a, a big 30 gallon tank. They're, they're gonna grow to be a couple of inches. They need more space than that. And I'm like, fuck, okay, I'll do anything. I'll do anything that it takes. And then as I started to look more and more into it, I realized like, basically my fish are suffering right now. So because there's no established like cycled system in there, basically when they poop and pee, they create ammonia and then there's supposed to be a good level of bacteria in that tank already that eats that ammonia. So to fish cycle the tank, you know, it takes a little while for those fish to live in there and some might die, which is what he was explaining to me. And like, that's just part of the system. But since the fish community has sort of made their way around that and have created a, a fishless cycle for their tank so that they don't have to have little fish that live in an awful environment and die in order to get your tank ready for fish to live in it. That's one thing that I am really grateful to the fish community on YouTube and the internet as well is that instead of people giving me feedback that was making me feel like some monster for following the directions of someone that didn't necessarily have my or the fish's best interests at heart, um, they were normalizing my experience and genuinely trying to help me moving forward what is the best thing to do for these fish. And um, I really appreciate that. And I already felt horrible enough as it is once I realized that I had made a mistake. And what doesn't help is when people are like, fuck you for doing this, you're a piece of shit. Like, this was an honest mistake. And I am really sorry to the fish. I'm sorry to anyone that thinks that they should do this or like I, I, I sat with the guilt of the fact that I have a, a, in the other room a tank full of fish that don't deserve to be in that environment. And you know, I thought I was doing something fun and happy and it wasn't like <laughs> for fuck's sake. It sucks. It doesn't help when someone reminds you uh, that you're a terrible person. It feels bad, man. <laughs> so I genuinely appreciate that people were, you know, not only trying to help me, but they were normalizing this as, you know, before I became a fish expert, I did the same thing and I had fish die and it really sucks and it feels terrible. And, you know, it's something that people do go through, not because they want to, but because sometimes this is the information that is you know, available to us. And at this point with the internet, this is my fault. There is no excuse. I should have done this beforehand. I should have had a tank doing its thing for a month so that I can introduce some fish in a safe way. This is my fault. So after I uploaded the video, I did reach out to Taylor, who, by the way, if you are looking to get a fish, her and there's a bunch of other channels. Solid Gold Aquatics is the other girl that commented on my, on my channel. Um, but there's like, there's a really rad fish community on YouTube. And I, of course, found them all after the fact. And Taylor, Nicole Dean, by the way, uh, as everything was sort of going on, I fell down a serious cheese hole, which is cheese is one of her fish. And now I'm emotionally invested in cheese. Um, <laughs> but I, I just, I really appreciate that the fish community sort of was like, okay, Jenna, you know, you sort of fucked up, but like, here's what you can do now. And, um, I did it, I asked Taylor, I DM Taylor on Twitter. I need to know now that I've done this, what is the most ethical thing for me to do at this point? Now that the fish are in a environment that's you know not balanced for them, ready, it's not ready yet, um, do I leave them in there? Do I continue to let them sort of like help the tank go through this natural cycle? Do I move them into a bigger tank and you know have them do it in there? Do I give them back to the pet store? 
because, you know, it's sort of unethical to leave them in that tank. And Taylor gave me a couple of options. I want to just tell you from my perspective and why, why I got here. I ethically didn't want to leave the fish in that tank. And most of the information that was, you know, being bestowed upon me was that, you know, you change 25% of the water every single day so that the ammonia buildup in there isn't enough to like harm them. And totally willing to do that, no problem. But it felt wrong. Like those fish are basically in there with not good bacteria. It's not great. It's the wrong shape, it's the wrong size. They're not having a good time. There's no natural plants. Bad time, bad time all around. Bad water, bad fun, bad time. And to move them into another tank with even more water and even more space and not natural plants in there is like, you know, I I'm just asking them to do that process on an even bigger scale and now an even more stressful scale. And to me, the most ethical thing to do was to get them out of the environment that I had put them in immediately and to get them back into water that was safe for them into an environment that wasn't going to hurt them like the plastic plants no good for them they're going to cut their little fins on there no fun they don't like them there to me there was no other option like yes i could go into that room and change 25 percent of the water every day hoping that they're going to live through it and hoping that everything's going to be okay and i can cycle my tank but I just, I literally could not look at them being like, yeah, I hope you live. It's like, no, fuck no. I want to get you out of here so that you can be in a place that's good for you. I put you in a bad environment. That is my fault, not yours. Why should you have to suffer the consequences of my bad decision? Do you know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like to me. So although I know some of you are probably like, you know, you could have fixed the tank, it's not a big deal, you know, just let them live. But to me, it's like, I put my fish in a, in a bad place, so I'm gonna make it right, and I'm gonna put them in a right place. So we brought the fish back to the place that I got them, and I was like, you know, I, I wanna talk to the guy that sold me these fish and told me that this was a good environment for them and told me what to do. I, I wanna tell him, you know, hey man, I double checked, and it turns out everything you told me was kind of fucked. And so I went in there being like, it, it took a while to get our, our fishies safely into a, a bag so that we could bring them back. And it was really hard to like do that because I was now emotionally attached to them. I love them. I want them to be happy. But knowing that I was doing something that was ultimately right for them and gonna help them. And I wasn't gonna make them suffer through a new cycle process. They didn't deserve that. So I went in there being like, I'm gonna tell this guy, like, hey man, fuck you. And I went in there, <laughs> I'd been crying all day, and I went in there and I was like, I have to give these fish back to you. Like, I don't want my money back, I'm, I'm not mad, I, I just, I have to give them back to you. And I just start crying, <laughs> like a baby. And he was like, what's wrong? Can I give you credit? Like, you know, and I was like, these fish don't, you guys sold me a, a circle tank and you said that was okay with plastic plants and a filter that they could in theory get into. And you guys, you said that that was right. And these fish, you know, they, I'm like crying, they grow to be like a couple inches and they need to be in a school and they need to swim back and forth and they need to like, you know, have other fish there eventually. And he was like, yeah, there's a lot of bad information online, isn't there? You know? And I was like, so confused because Clearly, the information that people were giving me was like a resounding, no circle tanks, like those fish need to be in a 30 gallon tank, they, they need to be in a school. And the, here's this guy, the expert, that's telling me that all of that was misinformation. And I just got like really discouraged, you know, like you're the person selling them when everyone else in the fish community is saying that this is what the fish need. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? He was like, they're fine. It's, it's fine. And I'm like, no, it's not fine. I was like, I just, I want you to take them back and I want you to, to put them back in the tank so, you know, they can be in an environment that's safe for them and where they don't, they're not going to die 
because I'm stupid. It sort of just made me realize like, obviously I care about fish. Obviously I care about other living beings. I literally don't eat animals. <laughs> like I care, I care about my pets. I want them to be happy. Yeah, those fish could have lived in that tank just fine. And everyone that had told me that is totally right. They, you know, we can make it work so they can live in there and that's fine. But an analogy I think that helps me understand is like with my dogs or dogs in general is like, yeah, a German shepherd could live in a one bedroom apartment and spend eight hours a day in a crate and survive but it's not right for him, you know? It's not the place that he should be. And if you care about that dog, you you wouldn't make him do that just because you love him and you want him to like be with you, you know? So I wanted to do right by those animals and this whole thing's been a really big learning experience for me, obviously. And that's, I guess that's my biggest takeaway is that I would have loved to have provided a fish or a couple of fish a really lovely environment. It's not that I'm unprepared once I get them to take care of them and do everything that it takes. I had just failed them in the beginning by not having an environment ready for them. And my only option after this point was to just make sure that they were in a safe environment. So in the future when you're like, Jenna, where's your fish? They're not here. I brought them to a place where they'd be better off and you know someday if I decide that I'm not completely scarred by this experience because <laughs> it has been <laughs> kind of traumatic for me that if I would like to you know get a fish that I would I would like to make sure that I do it the right way and that there's an environment appropriate for them before they even come in so obviously this is like it's pretty awful for me to post. It's like pretty, it's like tearing me up inside, obviously. I'm <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to put my video up, but I want this to be something that maybe not only normalizes your experience or, you know, prevents anyone in the future from making this mistake with fish in particular, because people's attitude about fish is a lot like what that guy's is, is like, you know, whatever, fuck it, man. They'll just, they'll, they're fine. They're fish, whatever. But to me, it was like, <laughs> I feel terrible. I, w I just want to fucking crawl in a hole and die today. Like, I can't believe that I did this. I feel terrible. I am going to put the video up so you can see a step-by-step -step tutorial of how not to get a fish and how to set up their environment completely wrong. And uh, I'm going to link some channels in the description that have some good information about fish, some solid information about fish. If you're curious about doing this and you don't want to make the same mistake that I did and even though it, it hurts me and it's embarrassing and I feel literally fucking awful I'm trying to make this into a positive thing and at least prevent someone else from seeing my video and being like oh that circle tank's cool I want to go get one even if this is at my expense like I feel fucking terrible I don't think I could feel worse at this point but like, I wanna just make sure that no one else does that and then has to feel like that because it's, it really sucks, man. And uh, I wanna say thank you to the fish community. Uh, you guys are really kind and thoughtful and you made me feel like I wasn't alone, that this is a common mistake and that, you know, sometimes people that work in these stores, this is a thing that they do. They sell you a fish that's going to need a bigger environment and, you know, they make it, they set you up to fail so that your fish die and you come in with a million questions to keep buying more fish and bigger fish and with bigger spaces. So they set you up in this like, you know, they're like getting you addicted to drugs basically. It's like, yeah, I'll sell you this crack and then eventually you're gonna need a crack cave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if there's something that you do take away from the video, I hope that you see how like genuine I am and that like I just want some fish that have a, a nice place to live and that I didn't do this out of any malice or with any intentions other than like, I'd like to have some fish. <laughs> you know, they're great. They're cool. I want them to live in my house and I am prepared to take care of them and do everything that they need. But right now I done fucked up and 
you know, did this wrong. I hope I've done enough here to make sure again that you know this is not what you should do. <laughs> and if you want to know what to do, there's lots of resources. Please, if you ever have a friend or anybody that's like, I want to get a fish, make sure that you like point them in a good direction. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. I, I'm so incredibly sorry. And I hope that I did enough for the, the fishies to get them back into a better environment so that they did not have to painfully cycle a tank themselves. A tank that wasn't right, the wrong size, the wrong shape, with no natural fun fucking plants in there for them. Like, nothing fun in there for them. And in the future, if I choose to do this, I will gladly and happily make a video about the right way to do it. So for those of you that are like, this is stupid and like way too extra, I apologize, but to a lot of people it's not, and to me it's not. And these are living, breathing beings and I just want them to have a good life and I fucked up and I'm really sorry. I hope that this is like enough to prevent anyone else from doing this and know that I feel really really terrible about it and that's you know that's it and it's not like with the fish it wasn't like ad where it was like oh my god I'll fix it right away it was like no they're they're gonna continue to suffer because of my bad choice and you gotta make it right right now. Like, you can't just get him a bigger tank. So, I mean, as much as I wanted to continue to give the fish a bigger and better and amazing fun environment for them, like, it would have required them to suffer through that. And I'm just, I wouldn't be able to like go to sleep at night, honestly. I can't. Here's the video. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial of what not to do if you would like to get a fish. Most of the video is just me being annoyed at Julian, so <laughs> take that for what it is. But here is the video. This is what happened to the video. I hope you understand. I am incredibly sorry. I did not mean to disappoint anybody or make anyone mad or do wrong by any animals. So again, I really apologize. And I hope that if you're looking into getting some fishies, just don't do what I did. Just don't, just don't do it. Here you go. I will see you next week. Okay, bye. Otter. Why are you filming? Otter. Yes. What? I want. <laughs> I didn't even say it. What do you want? I want to get some fishies. <laughs> Why are you? What kind of fish? I don't know, just like a, maybe like a nothing, no salt water, maybe just like a freshwater guy, like he'll be easy and little. One? I don't know, see, I don't know that much about fish, I haven't had one since I was younger, I had two goldfish, but then one of them like ate the other one. What happens when it dies? Why are you thinking are that their, far ahead? What are their lifespans? I don't know, we can go learn. I forget to feed Ad sometimes, I'm, I'm gonna I need feed help. Ad every single I know, night. and I'm gonna need help if we're gonna get more animals. Well, we feed them at the same time as Ad. Just a little sprinkle here, fish food, and a little sprinkle of Ad's seeds and nuts. Put him? Somewhere where if there's an earthquake, he's gonna be okay. All right, let's get a fish. Fine. Really? Yeah. You don't seem excited. I'm excited. Don't I look excited? <laughs> no, that doesn't look like the face of excitement. No, let's get a fish. Are you naming him, or do I get to name him again? If that's the compromise, you can name him. Okay. No one's gonna want a dog sit anymore because they have to feed a zoo. It's not a zoo. This is my sanctuary. This was your reaction when I asked for Ad, and now he's like your actual best friend in the world. He's my son. You heard it. We're going to get a new friend. <laughs> Listen, okay? Hear me out. I know a lot of you are like, Jenna, you have so many animals. You can't just keep a Acquiring animals. I woke up today wanting to do one of two things. I either wanted to absolutely decorate the shit out of my house with Christmas decorations, and even I recognized my too much gene and was like, Thanksgiving hasn't even happened yet. It's, it's not okay. Or acquire a new friend for our family. I know we joke about my age all the time that I'm like 31 and have a basketball game tomorrow, which is all very true. Also a Virgo. I'm also never wrong. <laughs> but like, I feel like I'm at the age where all I want to do is just mother something to death. And I read a comment recently on one of our hamster videos that was like, I can't wait to see what animal Jenna gets next so she can mother it to death. Which is so completely true, but I'm, I'm really like, 
like, Julia and I do want to have kids, but like, we need a couple of things before we get there. Well, I just need to mother something to death. It's like overwhelming. So I was like, what kind of pet can we get? Because, you know, even a mammal is probably too much. Even a bird is probably too much. I'm, I'm being realistic here. We could get a little fishy guy. I asked Julian for a cat just about every day, and Julian says no. So I feel like a fish is a good compromise. Right. Yeah, it is. I can't have plants, they'll all die. <laughs> I never, I like, that's when my mothering too much gene is like too much. I either just like drench them and drown them or the dead. We're gonna get a fishy guy. I don't know what kind. I'm 31 and I need something that's at least gonna survive through my basketball game tomorrow. All else fails, we're coming home with a piranha. <laughs> so many choices, I'm really excited. Yeah. Twice heard you play PUBG. Whoa, that guy's a big one. What's your favorite subreddit? Your tank when you buy it? Your tank in one week? Can you get me a free life on HQ, please? Do you play HQ? Hey. Oh, I like him. Yeah, he's really cute. I like him a lot. You look like Ab. Like, they make he so looks much like eye a contact. Boy. Okay. I know, these guys are like are really doing? connecting with me right now on like oh, so many fun. levels. Hi, shrimp. So we picked the smaller, like round one. We said is a good like starter one. So one what? A tank. Or it comes with gravel, but we're gonna get some decorations. And then he recommended some like little fish that we can get to start and establish an ecosystem. And then we can put different fish in. And we haven't not picked out the fish yet, which I'm very excited. We're gonna get a little school of pentabarbs. Pentabarbs. He said five or six. This is the one we're getting. Pentabarbs. Pentabarbs. Can, can we name them all barb? Yeah. They like to hang out in little school and they're good like starter fish to make it grow. Some of them are gonna miss their friends when we take them. Nah, they'll get <laughs> I marked the one you don't need to use with an X. Do you like them? Yeah. It's gotten dark. Okay, we had a lot of learning to do, but that guy was so helpful. Yeah, he was really, really, really helpful. He made sure that we got fishies that were good to like establish an ecosystem in there and like weren't gonna fight each other. We got five, right? Not six, five. Five tetra barbs. Is that what they're called? Tetra barbs. Named after Barb from Stranger Things. We got five Barbs, y'all. This is some real justice for Barb. They're all named Barb. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna take them home. They're gonna have a lot of time to chill out while we get their tank ready so that we make sure we have the, the right setup for them and Julian will name them all. Are you excited? I'll name them all. Yeah, they look cute. I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be such a nice little addition to our family. All right, let's get them on. Okay. Confirmed it. <laughs> We're gonna set up the tank, but I wanted the doggies to say hello to the no barbs. Kermit's very curious. He just jumped on the table and almost stepped on their bag. This is like a nice solid surface. If there's an earthquake, what we don't want is our tetra barbs to go flying. I know you have to wash everything. Look at this terrifying picture. Do not place in direct sunlight, because it can concentrated light rays can cause a fire. I like barbs, but I also don't want to catch it on fire. <laughs> Very informative. To my Aries partner, Julian, disconnect the power before you ever reach into the water. Okay, mm -hmm. Julian, never carry or pull the unit by the electrical cable. Are you listening? <laughs> Julian. We got this really nice selection of things. Since they're freshwater fish, we chose a, a nice little freshwatery selection of things, except for- I picked for out this one. Except for this, because Julian insisted on getting this. Does it's that Carl. have a name? Yeah. Okay, we won't, I'll ask you later. Carl. It's spelled Coral. Julian. Uh, you excited? Yeah. How do you get one turning that way? What is that? What? Another rock. Julian, you have to bury that big ball. Uh, Julian! You smushing. Don't Aries this up, okay? Like, I kind of want to live in there. <coughs> Stop. Being nasty. Their heater and thermometer back there. I cannot get this fucking ball to stay down. Oh my god. We're gonna do a half a cap of that so that it gets nice and ready. We're gonna make sure the temperature is good. Do some biological booster to add some bacterial cultures in there. That's all for that stupid ball. <laughs> so Never sad. give up on the ball. I'm a good fish parent. Feel the boost. 
Ew. Whoa. I think we did it! This is fucking amazing. I want it to be red. Now I want it to be green. Now I want it to be blue. The statue isn't centered, it's turned. Oh my god. I'm a Virgo. Do not unplug it just so you can straighten the, the statue. Ot Otter! So we're gonna let this run for a little while. Make sure it's the right temperature. We'll see you in a little while. Here are the barbs. They're so cute. They've pooped in their water a bunch. They've just been hanging out. Try and get your water in here with the new water so you can start to feel. Look at, they're all like, let us out already. So they're gonna acclimate and just kind of like stay still for a while. Yeah, barbs. So this has been going for quite a while now. The guy at the fish store did say to let it cycle for 24 hours, and I was like, is it possible to do it at all today? And he said, yeah, but there is a chance that, you know, they're not gonna acclimate well and they might die, but that they might also do that after 24 hours because they're new fish in a new tank. So, I mean, I'm a little concerned because I want the bars to live. It certainly hasn't been 24 hours, but like we've been having the tank go for quite some time. I should put a little bit of the tank water in with their water. This seems so extra. Just put them in. Like. No, they'll die! Either way, he did prepare me that anytime you're starting a new tank, some fish might die. So I'm really pulling for all of our barbs and we're trying our best here. So a little at a time. We'll do a little more in a little bit. Please, if you're on the internet and you're a fish care elitist, know that I have not had a fish since I was a child. I'm trying my best. Just like with Ad, like if I make some mistakes in the comments you can try and help me understand but know that i want the best for my fish i really do i'm not trying to do anything wrong but if i do don't yell at me okay i have a lot of things to mother pitch you up do you want to see the fishies i'm trying to wait like as long as possible to put them in the guy on the left little shrimpy fella which which one they all look the same Guy on the left, bottom left right there, shrimpy one looking up. That Apple guy. TV, that's Apple TV. <laughs> no. That's Apple TV. No! Please do not name him Apple that's TV. That's Apple TV. Oh no. The guy on top, top Rick Astley the fourth. Julian! Top right, debit. Debit? Like a debit card? Like debit, the fish. Hold on to something for this next one. Don't hold it, don't hold a pot of coffee while, while you listen to this. Elfish Presley. Julian! Okay, Elfish Presley. Debit, Apple TV. Rick Astley the fourth. Rick Astley the fourth. Or if you're you have never met him, you use the formal usted, Sir Rick Astley the <laughs> fourth. <laughs> okay. If you look at them right now, there's one that's flying above the rest. Julian, you can't keep naming the top fish. He's flying above the rest. The final fish's name, Aviation. <laughs> Those are terrible names. <laughs> what? They are unbelievable names and for unbelievable fish. Just a little bit at a time. Take a sip, eh? make sure it tastes good. Julian, ew. Who did you say was going to live the longest? Aviation, Usted Red Rick Ashley. No, Usted Rick Ashley the four is going to make what the about biggest splash, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Usted Rick Ashley the four. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many levels to that name. Okay, okay can his name be Usted Rick Ashley the four? All right, we can allow that. We'll allow that. Shake on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give him a little while. Debit's the quiet one. Okay. He barely knows English, so he just kind of flutters <laughs> around. What language does he speak? English, but he barely knows it. But his other language is null. <laughs> what language do the other ones speak? Well, Apple TV is very versed in Spanish. He's a Spanish-speaking fish. Okay. <laughs> but he lives in the United States, so he knows he has to learn English. What does aviation speak? Sign language. <laughs> American sign language. Aviation knows American. And Canadian Sign Language. Is Canadian Sign Language different than American Sign Language? It's an entirely different game. Have you talked <laughs> to anyone in Canada lately? What is Elfish Press? He just sings. Yeah, he sings rock and roll. Cool. And he moves those fish hips. They're stunning. I'm proud of my five sons. Yes, they're all boys. Devitt's a girl. Devitt's a girl? Devitt's a girl. Usted Rick Ashley the fourth is not a girl. It's a boy. Rick Ashley is a boy. Also, all of their last names are Salamita. <laughs> No, I'm not agreeing to that. Remember how I pitched you San Fran Solomita? Han Solomita. Eh? <laughs> no, still not. Come on! <laughs> I'll allow doing away with the last names. Debit is lowercase except for the T. That looks like Debbie T. No, Don't Julian. Make this Grave yet? No, no! Do, 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 do. We're gonna have it be dark in here so that they don't get overwhelmed. Well, we gotta turn off this fucking thing. This is our normal light, guys. Yeah, it's really bad in here. 
Julian really says, let's put him in. I think they can make it. Yeah, well. Oh, God, one's stuck up in the top. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. Not, like, all the way in the top, but, like, he wasn't going down with the rest. Oh, Which one was that? Them. Which one was that? I'm pretty that? sure that was Apple TV. They're all in. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. In a little while, when they're okay in the dark, we'll come back and we'll turn the light on and we'll look at them. Yeah. You're getting a little comfortable. You turn the light on like dark blue so they can, it's not like electric right away. But they're like, Look at them. They, I love how they all swim together. They're the Gucci gang. Okay, you know what we're not gonna do <laughs> is call them that. It's finally time, bud. What do you think? So it is much later. Ad is now in wake. Good morning, baby. The fish are sort of like, they're really enjoying all of their plants and stuff. They're hiding a little bit. They're like a little skittish and they keep hiding down in there. It's okay, you don't have to come out. Y'all can hide in there for a little while until you feel ready. The end of this video isn't very exciting because they're just in there hanging out, getting used to their new home. And Julian has fallen asleep because <laughs> We waited so long so that they could have a, a tank that was the most well-adjusted we could make it. It's not very exciting right now, but I will do my best to keep you updated on Snapchat as to how things go. Please send your, your prayers out. I did the best that I could. I hope all of them live through a new tank experience. I love them very much. I'm a little iffy on their names. I would say Usted Rick Ashley the fourth is my favorite. Okay, go down. I'm really excited. I think it looks really nice. It's so relaxing and fun to sit by. They're just like little baby ad here. They're just gonna need a little bit of time to adjust. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, hopefully next week I'll be able to just show you a quick, quick update of how they're doing. I'm optimistic that we followed the instructions and, and we're gonna have some nice little barbs in there. But right now they just need to relax. They had a stressful day coming to a new environment. But in the meantime, why don't we go put little Addy baby into his little house. Ad Cam, this is our best pet. He's high key, our favorite pet. There he goes. You say good night. See the fishies? All right, guys, you have a good night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning. I hope you enjoy your new little house. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get some fishies. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. I feel like I have something to mother when I come home from my basketball games at 9 a.m. every single day. So, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.